Self-reflection is a humbling process. It's essential to find out why you think, say and do certain things. Sonia T. Clay. Welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. Here we talk about personal development, relationships and mental health, just to name a few. My name is Carmen, a registered counsellor who is passionate about coming alongside people. This podcast is designed to create a discussion and bring awareness with each episode encouraging, equipping and empowering you to live your best life. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode. How are you? So here we are, the last month in episode for 2021. As we wrap things up for the year, I thought it would be fitting to look at the practice of self-reflection. During this time of year, we can feel life ramping up with all the festivities that the Christmas season can bring. So you might choose to do this after Christmas, closer to the new year. Or hey, it might be a practice that you do throughout the year. The purpose of self-reflection is to still ourselves, where we can identify areas of growth, acknowledge progress, and of course, celebrate the wins, no matter if they seem big or small. Bettering ourselves is not a quest for perfection, as that will only disappoint. It is growing into our potential and developing that greatness that is within. It's a commitment to learning, growing, and simply having a go. Looking back can help create a sense of understanding and insight into who we are and where we come from. The idea is not to camp there too long, where we miss the present and live our life looking through the rearview mirror. The same can be true if we are only living for the future, the one day when. We can lose sight of the blessings we already have and not find fulfilment in the making or the journey. The past, present and future all have their part to play in the practice of self-reflection. As you spend time reflecting, Remember to be kind to yourself and be aware of your self-talk during the process. If you catch yourself judging, try being curious instead. Look for the meaning of your thoughts, feelings and actions. The aim is to learn, grow and be encouraged rather than feel condemned, which can leave us feeling stuck and deflated which can be counterproductive. The great thing about self-reflecting is that you don't need to be on a retreat to do so. You can create this space wherever you feel most comfortable. Wherever you decide to reflect, remove any distractions if possible and set some time aside. Think of ways you might like to process your insights. For example, are you a thinker, a writer or a drawer? The idea is to make yourself comfortable and find the best way for you to reflect. So you have thought of a place and a time to reflect. Now what? Some prompts to consider are, think of how far you've come. Identify areas of growth and think of ways to strengthen them. Count your blessings. Appreciate your capacity. Recognise your strengths. Acknowledge the difficult seasons of your life and how you've navigated them. So on a finishing note, self-reflection can be beneficial if we want to grow in skill, knowledge and confidence. And don't forget to be kind to yourself. 
I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for the privilege to come alongside you. I wish you love, joy and peace and the very best for 2022. I look forward to coming alongside you again in the new year. Stay safe and enjoy. Bye for now. So that's it for today's episode. As always, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come alongside you. If you know someone who might benefit from hearing this episode, why not share it with them? Don't want to miss an episode? You can subscribe to the podcast. And if you are listening via Apple Podcasts, I would be most grateful if you would leave a review. For more content, head over to carmendebono.com.au and I look forward to coming alongside you again 